But what's going on guys, Average Tech Guy here and today we are back with another tech review. Now as you can see in the background I have four separate controllers, PS4, Xbox, you got a Steel Series controller over here on the left. And over here you have an 8-bit dough controller that resembles the actual old school NES controller. But I got a brand new one in and I've done a review on this one for the Nintendo Switch Lite. But this time I wanted to bring you the review with the iPad Pro 11 because this 8-bit dough controller, the 8-bit dough Lite, also works with your iPad. So let's check it out. So this controller is 8 by the company 8-Bit Doe. Um, I'll drop a link below so you can check it out for yourself. But basically it is a nice little controller. Extremely slim, nice form factor. Actually charges up through USB Type-C. You have D-pad over here, D-pad over here. You have buttons over here that actually act as a D-pad as well for your iPad. You got your X, Y, A and B buttons over here your plus and minus, which act as your select and start. And you have this toggle right here in the middle. Now, if you've seen my other review, in order to use the Nintendo Switch, you gotta have it on the S. But if you're using anything other than Nintendo Switch, such as Windows, Raspberry Pi, iPad, or an Android device, you're gonna have to have it over here on the X configuration. You're gonna hold this home button down right over here and the LED light should light up and blink. And I already have this paired to my iPad. So I'm gonna go into the settings. Now you cannot go directly into your Bluetooth settings. You have to go to accessibility in order to set this up. Once you're in accessibility, you go down to switch control, go to switches, you're gonna to go to Bluetooth devices, and you're gonna set it up from here. Once you have it set up in here, you are good to go. If you see up at the top, the 8-bit dough light is actually connected, and come here to Bluetooth, and it's connected as well. So. We got it connected, it's extremely easy. You're just gonna, like I said, go into the accessibility, go to the switches, activate it through that Bluetooth setup right there. Now, once you actually get this connected, what can you do with it? Okay, so you can either tap or you can follow these buttons. So I tapped it, we're gonna go back down here, one of the easier stages. And these stages do get a lot harder <laughs> as you go forward. So you get little different missions and a little cat it's going to be an airplane. You get a little sidekick over here. Now, it's a pretty cool little game. Um, uh, let's do resume. Okay. So, as you can see, I can control this with either D-pad, the regular D-pad, or the old school D-pad. Then this D-pad is going to allow me to roll over here so I want to roll forward I gotta do that and that's the only drawback to this game is if you want to roll backwards you gotta come over here and hit that d-pad all over again so this is just a straight up contra type old school arcade game now I want you to notice how easy this is going back and forth up down these buttons actually control all that and these buttons do nothing now, in order to shoot, boom, boom, and these buttons do nothing. So you're basically using Y and B, one to shoot and one to jump. And controls are really responsive. Everything works really well. You're able to move around fluid, move, move around freely. Um, and this is a great game to try out with this just because you get to see the diversity as you're playing this. So those are Apple Arcade games. So Apple Arcade games are working really well on here. Like I said, no lag, no nothing. So the next thing that we're going to try out is some old school Mario, some old school um, emulators with this controller. Everything still works. Um, Gonna do Mario 2. Oh, let's go back. And your start button is gonna be up here on this one. These don't work in the emulator. So we're just gonna hit start there. Start again. And we're gonna pick our character. And I like Luigi.
and you jump and everything works nice and fluid. So that's pretty much it guys. This is a nice little controller. It's gonna work with your Apple Arcade games as well as your emulators. Everything is gonna work fine. It's no lag. It's a great price on this. You're gonna pay about 25 bucks for this controller, but it slides down easily into any bag, any pouch, any pocket. Very slim, very thin form factor. Charges up through USB type C, has tons of buttons, two D-pads, basically anything you would want right here in your hands. So like I mentioned earlier, I'm going to drop a link below so you can check this out for yourself. This is the 8-bit Doe light controller for the Nintendo Switch, but it also works with Windows, Android, and as we've seen right here, iOS. So hopefully this has been able to help someone out. Until next time, be sure and give me that thumbs up. Please subscribe. Average Tech Guy out. Peace.